When it comes to making our Paloff press harder, a lot of exercises harder, we like to think about more weight, more reps, or in the case of the Paloff press, go further away with the same band or get a crazy hard band and then struggle with it. Today I'm gonna to show you a simple but not easy way to make the Paloff press way more difficult and far more rewarding for when the hill slopes up or the sprint is heating up. When it comes to increasing the difficulty for our exercises, a lot of us automatically go to more repetitions, more weight, uh, or more resistance. But in fact, there are a plethora of ways that you can improve or increase the difficulty of an exercise without changing a thing externally. Now, if you've already listened to this here on the Human Vortex Training Channel, you should subscribe down below. Mm -hmm. You know that there is one thing that we can tap into, and that is our breath. Now we've already discussed here about the crocodile breathing and how diaphragmatic breathing can help you recover in between efforts on the bike as well as in between sessions. However, there is a time and a place for diaphragmatic breathing and when the road tilts up or when the race is about to go on a sprint, that is not the time because releasing that midsection, uh, releasing that brace, the full 360 degree brace is going to create weakness and allow your counterpart to take advantage of that and keep you from unleashing the full sprint or climbing power that you actually already have. Now, let's just review real quick the Paloff press. And again, you can check out the link up above uh, to see what the normal Paloff press looks like. Now, really important, in the Paloff press, we're gonna have a little bit of a squatty hinge. So the knees are gonna come forward just a little bit, but notice I'm not completely upright and I'm not into a full hinge. Just a little bit of a squatty hinge, just a tiny bit of knees at the bottom, just enough to feel the hamstrings and keep the chest a little bit upright. Full 360 degree midsection brace, and the feet are gonna be about shorter width apart. Now, when we take the band, really important at the setup, we just wanna have around a 15 to 30 degree bend in the hand uh, from the elbow. We don't wanna slam that elbow to the side, we're just gonna keep the Shoulder relax, grab here. Now from that position, we're gonna hinge back, find that squatty hinge, and then we're going to take the hands, we're gonna interlace the fingers, very important. I see a lot of people grab this way, uh, and that's not gonna get what you need out of it. And then you're gonna come heart center. Now notice my feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. I'm evenly placed. I'm not pushing into my back leg and leaning one way or letting the band pull me. Now from here, the basic Paloff press is just forward and back, keeping the hands in heart center. Pretty simple, right? Well, now we're going to make it more challenging by using our breath. So as my hands get out to the end, I am simply breathing out. Now what this is gonna do is teach you how to breathe behind the brace, so to speak. So the brace is where you're locking the rib cage and pelvis together with a full 360 degree breath. Uh, sorry, full 360 degree uh, brace then you need to learn how to breathe behind it. What a lot of people will do as soon as they go to breathe, that brace is released because these muscles work together. They're accessory muscles for our breathing. They release, or what they'll do is they'll use the back leg. Now, the breathing part is very important. So if you haven't learned how to breathe behind the brace, a great way for you to learn how to do so is to check out the McGill Crunch up here. Now, use the video that I've given you. There are literally over 700 and something different uh, ways, videos on the McGill Crunch. Mine and the two with the good Dr. McGill himself are the only correct ones out there. I know this because I've had people send them to me and say, well, this one shows me this, and there's three other like that. Incorrect, don't do that. Now, learning to breathe behind the brace is a skill as well, just like learning how to climb and learning how to sprint. So these go together very strongly with the Paloff Press with breath. Now, if you found today's video to be useful in helping you learn how to make the Paloff Press more difficult without going up a band, going crazy far, uh, or just doing tons of repetitions, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button down below and head on over to the Human Vortex Training website and sign up for our free weekly newsletter for more great insider tips and tricks when it comes to strength and training for cycling and triathlon. Until next time, remember, train smarter, not harder, because it is all about you.